to make my version of bulletproof coffee. So there's a lot of versions out there that you can make, um, but this is how I do it and this is what I drink about every morning and sometimes in the afternoon if I'm feeling that I need a little bit of a pick-me-up. So I have a Keurig um, and I use the refillable K-cups. Today I'm having, because hello, it's fall, you know, so pumpkin spice, and this is actually just ground coffee from uh, Aldi's, and it tastes really good. It's not a super bold pumpkin spice, so if you like bold pumpkin spice, you're probably going to want to get a different one, but it's still good. It's a, just a very mild flavor. So coffee's in there. I use three packs of Truvia. Um, Again, obviously make it however sweet you want it to be. So what I do is I go ahead and brew the coffee and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 10 ounces and well hopefully that won't overflow. We'll see. So while that's brewing, what I do is this is the collagen I use. I have been using collagen for about about six months now. And I absolutely love it. I feel like it has really helped with the growth of my hair, as well as my nails, my skin. I really feel like it's a good, it's a good thing to do. So I only use about a half to a quarter of a scoop. I just don't feel like you need to use the whole, I mean you can, but I just don't. So about a half a scoop of collagen. This is MCT oil. I just ordered this on Amazon. Um, and I put about a tablespoon of that in my coffee. Now, if you've never used MCT oil, a lot of people say just build yourself up to using it. So if you haven't used it before, maybe start with like a teaspoon and work your way up. I didn't have any problems starting with it. It didn't bother me at all. Heavy whipping cream. So I just kind of eyeball it. I have measured it before and because I use this cup here, I know you can't see that, I kind of just know where to fill it and it's about two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Um, if you want your coffee a little bit sweeter, this is sugar-free vanilla uh, Tarani syrup. You can put a splash of this in there, but the Truvia to me is sweet enough. So my coffee's done and then I'll show you what I do with this. And I'm going to show you how classy I am, because you know I'm classy, right? So to, to stir my a straw, a McDonald's straw at that. I know, classy. I know, right? So what I do is I pour some of the coffee into this blender bottle, and it has this insert in here that has holes in it. So this is actually like a protein cup kind of a thing, but this works really good for my, my bulletproof coffee. Make sure that your lid's on or you'll have a huge mess. So you just shake it, and with the collagen, the heavy whipping cream, and the oil, it really does help to blend your coffee, and it also gives you this awesome froth on the top. Now, you can do the froth a different way, like with a frother, like the handheld frothers. I just haven't had much luck with those, or maybe I just haven't found the best one yet. So, unscrew that, pour it in your coffee. This is just how I like to make a coffee. One of the reasons I use the blender bottle is because the oil needs to really be mixed in. And you will find that sometimes the oil sits on the top, so you might have to just have a spoon and stir it, or you're gonna be classy like me and just use your straw and stir it up, or just kind of swirl your cup a little bit as it gets down. So this is just what I drink a couple times a day. I feel like the MCT oil does give me a boost of energy. It also helps me to meet my fat quota for the day while having eating a ketogenic diet. Um, other alternative ways that you can make this coffee, some people use grass-fed butter, like Kerrygold butter. Some people use coconut oil. I just have felt that the MCT oil gives me a great boost of energy. Um, it keeps me full longer. So a lot of times I drink this coffee when I get up in the morning, which can be like 5, 4, 35 o'clock. And I'm not hungry until about 11 or 12. So it really does hold me over. 
The other thing that I really like to do with my coffee, I don't think I would do this with the pumpkin spice just because I think that taste would be off, but um, cocoa powder. I use the Ghirardelli chocolate cocoa powder that's just super chocolatey. And you can kind of make yourself a little mocha. You can make yourself a cappuccino kind of coffee by adding cinnamon to it. So there's a lot of varieties that you can do making bulletproof coffee. So I hope you guys enjoy. I will leave the recipe with measurements in the description box below and I will also try to link the collagen that I use and the MCT oil in the link, uh, description box below for you guys as well.